and welcome to a special end of year video i have taken on a tour of a data center that I used to work in this is about 1992 vintage and this is a room where we had some networking gear and a VAC station 4000 that was connected to the internet it had mosaic running on it and some mail and that was about it in those days this is the operators area VAC station there and VT240 and some VT320s. There's a nice row of 6400 series machines. Mostly 420s, 430s, something like that. And these were the first major upgrade that we did. Uh, uh, VAX 3900 with an R82 on top. And a Micro VAX 3400. And that's an HP disk drive on the side there. Uh, another 3900 with two R82 drives. And here's the old original 8650s that we had. Not very fast, but nice machine in the day. We originally bought them as 8600s and then did the upgrade to an 8650 a bit later. 8550 um, which was the odd one out. Um, the console was a bit different on that one. I don't know why we had an 8550 but you know, we did 3400 series machines. And a view of the 8650 indicators and control panel. Use your fax key to switch it into the various modes. That's 4300 and 3400 next to it. 3300, I think. It's a smaller one. And the 8650. Note the deck rider console on the side. So everything that came out of the console we had on paper. These are the tape drives that we had. And the IBM 3480 type or 3490 carts. And I think the whole unit's an IBM rebadged unit. So I don't know what DEX part number was, but they were the same thing. And we used to, the operators used to load up all the, all the tapes every afternoon for that night's backups, which is a lot better than the old system of loading up individual nine track tapes. This is the disk area. Lots of storage. Although not in terms of megabytes. Most of the cabinets are SA482s which are, have got RA82 drives in them. That's a close up of one of the RA82s. And it's the SA482 cabinet. Four drives in the, in the one cabinet. And HSC disc controllers. These are later disc cabinets. I think we had RA92 or RA90 drives in those, a bit higher capacity.
There's some third party drives that we got at one stage. Uh, they were terribly successful, but we, we used them for a while. Back of one of the HS series with all the individual cables going to all the drives. That's the back of the 8650 for Ethernet there and the three phase power going in. And on the other side, you've got the connections to the star coupler and the console. The old nine track tapes, the 2A78s. Just a pan of the room in general. This is another small room that we had in another building just to do the office type services. Like the X2 there in 3400. Third party disk drive there that was never terribly reliable but it got us through in the end. I think it was only about 400 meters, fairly large drive. Maybe another Microfax 3900 with the R8200 on top. And another Microfax 2. Hundreds. Okay, there to replace the 3400 on the right. 215 expansion box and extra three drives in there. One cluster is a FAC 7000 series machine and a 6400 series machine there. Or a 66 cell. Some discs, there's an ASC drive there, which is one of the very early solid state drives. And lots of RA92s. HSC 90 controllers, controller discs, and the star coupler there on the right, and some disk drives for the backups. Okay, that's the end of the video section. Short break, I'd just like to thank all the viewers and subscribers over the year. Um, I never thought anybody would be interested in this stuff, but seems that there's a few of you out there that are and thanks for watching next we'll go into a few stills this is the day we had everything delivered truck full of vt220s there's an 8600 coming off the truck and still in the wrapper that's an early shot of the room the old tape drives that's a little bit later on when we had an extra machine in there. It's the disc area. This is the tape library. And the battery room for the UPS. It's a VAX 7000 that we had. It's the front of it. It's inside the front door. And it's in the back door. There's a few
few more seven thousands there in, in the row. With a six thousand series machine on the end. It's an Alpha Server eighty four hundred series machine. Row of HSCs there for controlling the discs. That's the back of a star coupler with all the cables coming in from the HSCs and all the nodes. There's a row of those 3490 tape drives and some smaller little libraries that we used for other rooms. So the disk, the storage works disk cabinet with HSZ series controllers on the right hand side there. Tape library up the top. 3400. That's a 215 expansion cabinet for holding extra discs. And the insides of a VAX 4300. There's the deck hub with all the various networking gear in it. And this one's an FDDI hub for some of the fibre stuff. A room with a few VAC stations and PCs and alpha servers in. It's a DS10 I think it is, running some performance software. There's an Info Server 100 with our CDs. And some more alpha servers and VAXs. Alpha Server 1000 there, and ran Unix on. There's another 3300. More 4000 VAXs. And a photo of the room. Another couple of Unix boxes, VAX and an alpha. This is an Alpha 2100 and a 1000 next to it. And the storage works expansion on the side. I think we used a Swixer controller between the two. There was no HSZs in this one. And then we replaced the 2100 with the 1300 on the left there. And that's the 2100's gone and the 1300's left. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you next time.